So good morning from Marsh Lake here in near Perry Sound, Ontario. And it's about 8C this morning. We've got cloud, but it's supposed to slowly get nicer. And tomorrow's supposed to be all sun, which is great. So we're thinking of going to Cranberry Lake today. So just getting the wheels turning here around 7.30 and uh, make some breakfast and all the rest. And not too bad a night, up and down a bit. We used the first nights a bit that way, but uh, not too bad. I feel, feel pretty good. Uh, I was kind of gassed last night, but I think I'm all right for today. I'm over there because that's the only other flat spot we could find. And then this is sort of our common area here. So this is Wolf Lake, and we're heading over there towards Cranberry Lake. Well, so it's about 10.30. We haven't really been rushing this morning, getting organized and making our breakfast and getting set up. And uh, so we're headed down to Cranberry Lake through the river there. Uh, pretty remote area for this region. These uh, areas here really seem to be supported by the snowmobile and the ATV community, primarily the snowmobile community, uh, at least between the lakes. Uh, there just doesn't seem to be hardly any uh, commute traffic here, uh, like you would expect in, say, a park. Um, so we're grateful for the larger trails, for the portages and so forth, because other than that, I don't know uh, how sketchy things might get. It's a little bit of a breeze blowing, but it's nothing that we can't manage, even though the canoes aren't heavily loaded today. We're just out on a day trip. is it?
exactly. Down the right side all the way? Yep. There's not much more to go from the big beaver dam. What a place, this is amazing here. After the portage around the big rocks, which is Technically tricky, but not very long. You have a very, fairly long uh, paddle through this uh, sinuous meanderings of this river before you get to Cranberry Lake. It's very pretty in there, and there's only a few spots of low water at the north end. Now, this is uh, mid June, so the water will be probably a little higher now than it is normally, but nevertheless, uh, there's no major obstacles in the way. Cranberry Lake is about a kilometer across, and we paddled across the far side to a bare rock shelf and had a lunch, and then we went for a walk looking for this uh, marshland that uh, Frank really enjoys that's in behind Cranberry Lake.
going to go out to that promontory there. So this uh, remarkable marsh uh, to the east of Cranberry Lake is, I'm sure, is not visited very often. And uh, it's really just a beautiful wetland environment here. Tired warrior arriving at the campsite. That's exactly what I am. Thank you. Henry, I didn't catch you coming in from the main lake. Can you go back there? Now film? No. <laughs> That's okay. We only have a 10K hike left for the day. Yeah, you keep mentioning that. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Uh, it's a rock. The trip from our campsite marked a site one on the map to the Cranberry Lake area is approximately about eight kilometers, but it is uh, a convoluted terrain and the portage is in the middle of it. So if we paddle south from item one on Marsh Lake for about three kilometers, you come first to a beaver dam, a second larger beaver dam, and finally uh, a rock uh, dam. Uh, there and these are all located in the general area of marker number two As you finish with the rock dam where you have to be very careful of your footing and just prior to that You've got that beautiful passage where the uh, rock walls on both sides for a couple of hundred meters, which is very beautiful You come into what was a marsh and probably a lake at one time that had been dammed the dam was removed about three or four years ago and now it's a marsh with the river through it, but the water's deep enough that there's no problem paddling through it, at least in June. And we, um, we go through that and then the river itself, and it meanders a fair bit, so it takes you a bit longer. And this is all defined by item number three. Then we get to Cranberry Lake. We paddled across to the east side, had lunch on the Bear Rocks, and then we, we hiked over to the marsh that's designated number four for... Uh, good look and you can see we explored a little bit we thought we could circle around but there's too much wetland so we came back around again and paddled back home without incident a beautiful day uh, in the Canadian wilderness <laughs> 